Hello and welcome back to Garion Reaver vs Stacklands and the Garion Tabletop. I am still in the world of greed trying to deal with this uh, greedy royal who wants a royal banquet by the end of Moon 27. A royal banquet is a fruit salad which is a grape and an apple, a wine which is two grapes and a fried meat. I have the meat, I need the olive oil to fry it. So I need a load of stuff. I actually have a grapevine. So I can work that now, but I will need an apple. So an apple I get from a tree, which I could probably get from pure greed. A tree, good. So I have to hope I actually get um, something useful from that. But I can get somebody working it. Oh, I've already got someone working a grapevine. Sorry, I forgot that. Wait, what's that? Oh no, sorry, he's making the stick. A couple of things actually I want to call out. Um... I can't remember why I was doing this. Oh, I was making a shed, right, I think. Alright, the shed can wait. I, I need to get working on the apples stuff. A grape, good. A wood, bad. Another grape, good. A wood, bad. Okay, so I, I'm gonna need more trees. An olive? I only got the one olive from the olive tree. Oh no, because I left the one in there, right. I'm gonna farm one. And, um... Oh, okay. This isn't a good situation. I'm running out of time very quickly. I thought I had plenty of time and I, I clearly do not. Let's get some grape pulp so I can make some wine. Uh, I'll keep the grape vine. Oh no, I've got one already. Alright. I have a spare grape vine for if I need one. There it is. Stick that in there. Sell a load of water. Alright, this wasn't a particularly productive moon. Uh, I mean, it doesn't help that everybody's drunk. I will admit that reduces uh, productivity a smidge. But at the same time, I still think it's much better to have that than faff around with food more, you know? All right, moon 25. We're still doing fine on beer. Uh, what do I need, though? I need more trees. Something I want to call out, uh, something I noticed during editing, in fact, is two things. One, the grass is a different colour. It's like a more Mediterranean colour, which is a really cool touch that I did not expect. And uh, the other thing is that the background has changed. It's uh, like statues and cornucopias and stuff, rather than uh, just trees and, and such that the other one was. It's just a cool touch. A new shed just in time to get working on a new olive tree. What happened to my other olive? Where did that go? Did it get eaten? Oh, you bastard, you ate the olive! Oh no, I farmed it, never mind. We have the wine as well. Olive pulp, good. That can now go into this barrel that I just filled with wheat to make olive oil. And I still don't have any apples. Oh god, I'm running out of time and I don't have any apples. I mean, apples is the quickest part. The fruit salad is the quickest part to get. So I've got the olive oil being made. I have 16 cards too many. I've got the olive oil being made, which is pretty good. Um, I'm doing fine for beer. Uh, I'm just going to sell these bricks and stuff. I shouldn't have sold the bricks, I should have sold planks instead. Apple, finally! God, I was getting really worried about that. Alright, this will create the um, fruit salad. Get you working back in there. And I've got one spare guy again. Olive oil, brilliant. So, how do I get fried meat? I think it was a campfire, which I don't have. But I think a campfire is, yeah, stick and a flint. So I have a flint. I'm making a stick. Stick and a flint. And another flint, good. Campfire. So fried, fried meat is campfire, raw meat, and olive oil. Olive oil, raw meat. And that is everything I need, actually. The wine, the fruit salad. So assuming none of it's eaten in this, the end of this moon, which it shouldn't be because I've got tons of beer, uh, then we are pretty set. Okay, fried meat is done. Don't eat it, 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 don't eat it. Good. Oh, oh that could have been bad. Had to sell virtually every spare thing I had because I've basically run out of space. I do need another uh, coin chest. So that's two wood and a coin. A royal banquet. Some very tasty foods combined. It's worth a lot. But 
Thanks, I didn't know you had it in you. Successfully complete eight demands. Lift the curse of greed. Presumably that's an option that's going to come up. A new shed. But I'm gathering that we are about to wrap up here. If lifting the curse of greed is literally the only quest I've not done. End of moon 27. So I didn't actually have a lot of spare time on that uh, banquet. But I don't know what I need to do to lift the curse yet. Just says fulfill his demands, so presumably he's going to give a demand next time around as uh, the thing that's going to clear the the curse. So I've got to be ready. I don't want to have to like restart from scratch again. Hmm. You know, having this immense beer production, because like I'm far outstripping, and these are just gardens, these aren't even farms. And admittedly, I don't have that many people, and obviously each one has a considerable burden, but it's not hard to massively improve this production. It sort of makes me think that this is the power play, rather than... Because it, it has the debuff, granted. Decrease hit chance as well, which could be bad in combat, but... Like, it, it might be worth it to just have a load of people who are just drunk. End of Moon 28... Everyone was fed, and I've got too many cards, as always. Oh, merchant. I have everything, but it's not enough. I want more food, more entertainment, and more valuables. A dear friend of mine got a phoenix egg for his birthday. I want something better. There is a merchant in town, and he's selling a dragon egg. Get it for me. So this is going to be, what, 200 gold? A dragon egg? I hope he's ready for what what's about to come. I see. So the dragon egg, is he's going to get killed by the dragon. Oh, 100 coins. Done. <laughs> ha! I was doubtful you would get me the dragon egg, but here you are. A crack starts to appear in the shell. What's this? A crack in my dragon egg? Get me a new one right away. The crack. A a the egg cracks again. Shame on you. It's a dragon. Oh, and one big swing takes out the royal, does it? Yes. A corpse and a royal crown. <gasps> now I can be the royal. Why does he have 30 health? Luckily, the dragon did not eat the royal crown. It is the most valuable item in the whole world. However, you can't lift the curse without the royal crown. Gives you strength and makes you greedy. Plus health, 100. Attack speed, plus 5. Wow, that's powerful. Now I can be the, the royal. You can't wear the royal crown. I won't allow it. Well, there's a 200 health corpse right there. I mean, the the dragon is is seems to be a pet. It's not aggressive. It's not red. I assume I could have attacked the royal earlier and sort of skipped all of the quests, but in in return, just gone straight to this. Can I just use that on that? I mean, the dragon's just sort of chilling with my sheep. You lifted the curse of greed. Yay! Thanks for helping us. You may now return to your old world. Place anything you want to bring back on top of me, and I'll bring you back. Take. Take you back. All right. Lift the curse of greed. I'm suspecting I'm not going to be able to, like, take stuff back. Do I'm probably not going to need olive oil, am I? Like, I'm going to take the wheat back because I do think the beer strategy is a really good one. Uh, I'm also just going to... I'm sure. Why not? If he's got room... He's an, oh, he's not an infinite capacity. Damn, I was hoping he was an infinite capacity spirit. I could have taken everything. The man who would be king. Can I take the coin chest? I can. And a sheep, please. Can I take... I can't take the dragon. Damn, it would have been cool to have a dragon. Can I put the dragon in? No, I can't pick up the dragon. All right, I'm going to take a sheep. I'm going to take my would-be king villager. I'm going to take a load of coins, iron bars. I don't really need the wood. Why are you killing the sheep? I want to take the sheep with me. Stop it. I don't suspect I'll need grapes or olives like grapes are just berries with extra use and olives are just for frying stuff it seems and that's my full load it seems 
So I've got rid of the wood and I'm taking some more wheat and some beer instead. Take me home, spirit. I wish to leave this wretched place. Yes, the world will reset. Oh, hello. Don't fight the sheep. The sheep is a pet. So I've got some beer, I've got the wheat. Should I go all in on the wheat build? I'm tempted to. But then again, I've got all these hot pots. I probably don't need to. I'm just going to keep a wheat down here. Like, I think it is useful for the animals as well. But yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to sell the, the rest. And the beer, I'll just... If I stick the beer in the hot pot, will what effect will that have? Hmm. Good question. So I still don't know how to get charcoal, and I discovered the uh, the world of, of death. So greed is done. Or was that just a quest? Oh, no, sorry, that was just the quest. Okay, so I don't know how to summon the spirit of death. What do I need to do with the shaman? Just talk to him. Yes, tell me about the world of death. As long as it doesn't need charcoal, I can probably do it. Stack of cards? Lighthouse? Uh, so glass and... Well, glass I definitely get from the robo world. I'm wondering if I should do that first. Like, I'll get the last spirit land, but I think I'll go and... Why is the sheep just r running amok? Uh, Alright, uh, can you can you kill that off so I can... Oh, the shaman is leaving. The shaman has told you everything he knows and will leave this world. Alright. And then he poofed. Uh, figure out how to summon the spirit of death. Raw meat. I think I probably need to go to the island. Because I reckon that's where I get charcoal. Uh, yes. I've got plenty of food, so yeah, feed everyone. Yes, everybody's fed. And I've got bloody 41 cards too many. Ah, because I've got 30 planks and 30 bricks. That's probably where I'm... Where all my stuff is, yeah. Off we go. Fresh Isle, welcome to the island. While at the island, you won't have to take care of the mainland. You can go back to the mainland using the rowboat. The rowboat can only carry a single card. Other boats allow you to bring more cards back and forth. If all your villagers die, you'll be returned to the mainland. Good luck. Get two bananas. We have... Oh, wow, look at this. Again, different map, but this one is more obviously different. The other one was a bit subtle. Cell. Oh, it's a shell. That's clever. Uh, shell, the main currency. Cool. Banana tree made of bananas. Sand, a main ingredient for a nice beach. Driftwood. And seaweed. Salad of the sea. So I guess I work the banana now. The quests are marooned. Get two bananas, make rope, which I have done in the past, so that's fine. Make a fish trap. Banana, everyone's favourite yellow fruit. What are the yellow fruits are there? Melons? Are passion fruit yellow? No, passion fruit, I think, is sort of an orangey. Punch some driftwood. What is this? Mince raft? Wood? Uh, have three shells. Uh, well, I better not get rid of this straight away. Well, I've run out of stuff. Uh, I guess I better get rid of this straight away. Grilling and brewing is now available. So there's on the shore, island of ideas, grilling and brewing. Flint, banana, and fishing spot. Ah, the fishing rod. That's where this comes in then. So why did I get it in the other one, you know? Catch a fish. Fishy, got an achievement. Uh, wet and slippery fish. Oh, I have to kill it. Raw fish. Because everyone, when they catch a fish, they then have to punch it to death. Two flint, which I'm selling immediately. And a driftwood. Another banana -na 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 tree. And another seaweed. Oh, wow, a bottle of rum. Not as good as beer, seems. Time to eat. Oh, and he goes straight for the rum. That's how you get empty bottles. What a stupid roundabout way, but whatever. What is this? Spoiling. Left out in the sun. Oh, no. I did not anticipate this. Well, guess we better eat that first. 
And the seaweed as well. Oh, hell. Guess that's the use of a hot pot here. Oh, no, I could sell them. That's a good call. Banana cotton. Banana cotton. All right, work the cotton, and I need to sell another decomposing banana. Another banana. Cotton, new nature's wool. Time to eat. Oh, it's it's moon fifty six. So this, compared to the wool worlds, this is continuing the moon cycle. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, work the driftwood. Rope was two wool and a villager. I am betting that I can just make rope using this. Yeah. <laughs> a stick and a rope. So it's good to know that you definitely can still do the things even if you haven't had the um, the recipe for it. I wasn't sure that would be the case. Fishing rod. What's he currently equipped with? A morning star. Alright, if I just take that off of him so that he's a fisher. But I like being a, a big man. You could still be a big man fisher. You know, there's... Can be what you want on the island. It's your island. You're the king of this island, Fisher. That's his name now. His name is Fisher. I've got two undiscovered cards there, eight in there, and ten in there. Fishing spot. Yay! Expert at fishing. Fish fear him. What difference will this make? Mackerel. I don't know what difference that made. So the fish is just going to hop around for a bit. Is it going to die on the land? I mean, it should. That's like the the heartless pacifist way of killing a fish, right? All right, whatever. Okay, so you get double the fish. Is that is that a thing or because it was a mackerel? I don't know. Let's have a look. What does it say? It plus one damage. All right. I'm guessing I can fry these fish, and they may keep longer. So if I get a stick and a flint, and get another cotton plant, get working on that still. Campfire. Can I just put a fish on there? Yeah. Cool. It's fairly sure that would be the case. Um, I'm over my limit, so I'm going to start working on these to get more valuable things. Two cotton produces a, a value three rope, so that is a net positive. Cotton, sand, and driftwood. Flint, driftwood, and driftwood. Oh, grilled fish. I can taste the grill marks. Okay, I don't know if it prioritized eating the moldy food, but that's interesting. I'm going to get rid of a sand and a couple of wood. Seaweed, banana, sand, nothing particularly helpful. Still two undiscovered cards in there. A monkey would really like a banana. And two driftwood. Alright, a monkey, have a, a mouldy banana. Now it's a trained monkey, can help you with chores. Turns back into a normal monkey at the end of the moon. Okay, so he can work stuff. Sure. Not strange at all. All right, so he is just like a a a normal person who you just have to rehire. Another monkey. Uh, I don't particularly want that monkey because it's too close to the end of the moon, you know. No point hiring monkey this close to end of moon. Anything could happen. Another monkey. There are so many monkeys. I've run out of things for monkey to do. Oh, monkey can fight monkey. I did not expect such rebellion among the monkeys. Okay, wild monkeys murdering a uh, home monkey. And he, he popped. Oh well, that solved a monkey problem. Grilled fish. Six cards too many. I need some stone so I can expand... What can I do with a bottle? I can make a broken bottle, but I need a stone for that. Make a fish trap. I assume I get that from ideas. Let's go for an idea then. A fish trap, a fishing spot, a stone, and a rope. Fishing spot, driftwood. Fabric, four cotton. 
Give me another. A shell chest. Oh yeah, that makes sense. A shell and two wood. A banana tree. Another driftwood. And sloop. Two plank, a sail. Can carry ten cards. Nice. So that's a, a new ship. I've recruited a monkey to kill the other monkey. Because I don't like having two monkeys hopping around wrecking things. Good work, and we got a bone out of it. Monkey worked the banana tree. So self-fulfilling prophecy. Cotton for the monkey. Sand, seaweed. I'm going to sell the bone. I don't have a use for it right now, and I need the money. More cotton for the monkey. Banana for the me. And some ideas. Rope, yep. Driftwood. Driftwood. Sail, fabric, rope, and villager. Alright, yeah, that's a good use for my cotton. Got a rope. I'm severely lacking in space here. Actually, does that take... That did take up space, alright. Um, I'll sell the banana. Oh, he just turned back into a normal monkey. With two health. Is it random then? Also, it seems the uh, the grilled food doesn't go off, which is cool. Ah, Island Insights. It's got that from selling the sand. Oh, I'm going to have to sell my bananas. I've got no... Ah. Oh, I have ten shells. That was a quest. I mean, no, it w oh. Yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but all right. Done, apparently. Uh, have a banana, monkey. You're on my side now. Thank you. Another monkey. Let's get some more ideas. Sandstone. Two sand and a villager. An alternative to stone. Can be used for anything stone can be used for. Cool. Another fishing spot. Some sand. Charcoal. Campfire and wood. Oh, why didn't I try that? I thought of that, but I didn't... I never tried it. It makes sense. I don't know why I never tried that. Oh, I'm sort of kicking myself for that now. Uh, fisherman, I have a job for you. Can you murder a monkey for me, please? Thank you. Charcoal functions as an antidote for snake poison. Oh, I can't believe it's taking me this freaking long. There we are. Brilliant. Now you can switch back to being a fisherman now that your enforcement duties are done. So, uh, what do I need for the fish trap? Fishing spot, stone and rope. So I need... Uh, I have that. I just need one more sand. Cotton. Monkey. God. Oh, it's so annoying getting monkeys. It's going to ignore him. Maybe he'll go away. Maybe he'll starve. A seagull! An angry boyd! Sorry, you need it again. Get killing that seagull. Uh, the monkey can help. Oh, monkey's dead. That didn't last long. Good work. Oh, wow, the seagull was made of fish. You know, learn something new every day. Another freaking monkey, but at least I've got another sand. Right, let's just work the sand. I assume the monkeys are so I can get more workers, because I'm I'm tragically lacking in working capability here. Make sandstone. So sandstone, rope, and a fishing spot. I can't remember what this is. Oh, fish trap. Let's get two wood and a shell to make a shell chest. Shell chest. Cool. Looks pretty. Looks quite pretty. Ah, so we have everything from ideas and the shore. So grilling and brewing, island insights. I could really do some sand. I want to expand the, the area. A fish trap. Wonderful. Uh, so this is a building. Needs a type of food as bait. Any type of food? Presumably. Kill the mackerel. Actually, don't kill the mackerel because we're about to end the, the thing and... It'll turn into two fish. Oh my god, the monkeys. I hate the hopping around. It's so irritating. And yeah, it seems um, grilled food, like cooked food, definitely doesn't spoil, which is good. Oh god, like my entire thing is taken up with stuff I can't get rid of. Oh goody, a pirate ship. Uh-oh.